Hello friends, in part 1 of this lecture, we have seen GP exit exam, information on online test, how the online test is conducted for GSK, MEK and how the marks are allotted for each question. And in part 2, we are going to discuss how the practical and orals exams are conducted for GSK, MEK and how the weightage of marks is given to various practicals which you will have to perform during the examination. So, for online, we, were, we have seen that you have to answer 45 MCQs which are allotted 75 marks each. So, first you will appear for GSK, then followed by MEK and that is the end of your online exam okay for practical we have seen the marks allotted for practicals mek 100 marks gsk 100 marks 50 marks are allotted for orals and 25 marks are allotted for your journals and workshop practical book so total 175 marks are allotted for the practical orals and journals and out of this, you have to get 105 marks to make it 60% for passing in individual GSK and MEK. Individual when I say, that means each subject you have to score 105 because passing is not combined passing, but it is GSK passing and MEK passing separately. And for online also it is same. It is passing marks are 45, which you have to get out of 75 marks. Separately, you have to pass GSK and MEK. So, let us see how the practicals are going to be conducted for exam. There are 10 marks allotted for maintenance of pocket diary. So you must maintain pocket diary during your entire training and present it to the examiner for allocation of marks. What all uh, practicals you will have to perform for this obtaining 100 marks and examiner is going to ask you to perform this. So let us see one by one. Hoisting a flag correctly. So you should be able to hoist the flag correctly. You are having only seven flags in your syllabus, not all the 26 flags and pendants and answering pendant and number flags, those you don't have. You are having Alpha, Bravo, Golf, Hotel, Oscar, Papa and Cubic. So those seven flags you must learn by heart. Second practical is steering and helm orders. So this practical you will have to perform on the wheel. You will have to stand and you will have to reply to the helm orders given by the examiner. Climb the mast by taking all the precautions. Do not forget to obtain permission to climb the mast prior taking first step on the mast. You must observe all the precaution and you should be able to climb safely 5-6 rungs of the mast and then examiner will tell you to come down through heaving line. So throwing heaving line, your action, your posture has to be correct and you should be able to throw heaving line up to 20 meters. So 20 meters is given as your benchmark for throwing heaving line. Taking soundings of a tank. So tank wherever you are taking sounding. So those soundings you should be able to take by a sounding tape or a sounding rod or with a sounding line. Reading draft correctly. So reading draft correctly on the draft marks. This is also a practical and lifting up to 20 kg weight manually. So you should be able to pick up the weight in a correct manner in which you are being taught and present it to the examiner. Each of this practical is allotted with six marks and 
these are seven practicals and you are having 42 marks here so each practical six marks making first ropes and wires by using rope or a chain stopper so you should be able to make first the rope with figure of eight on the bollards and wire also and correct use of rope stopper or chain stopper stage rigging so for painting ship side you will have to rig a stage with a correct rope work and lower it up to three meters on the ship side from the height rig scaffoldings so scaffoldings you are expected to rig in a team maybe team of four people and you rig it at least more than three meters height and climb on top by taking all the precautions rigging bosun chair and self lowering and hoisting hitch you will have to perform lowering and hoisting with only single hand means you yourself you lower yourself or hoist yourself and this will be up to three meters okay so bosun chair you should be able to tie a self lowering hitch and able to hoist yourself three meters lower yourself rig correctly pilot ladder so pilot ladder rigging on the over side you will have to rig pilot ladder and you will have to rig man ropes step ladder prepare everything test the ladder do not forget to wear life jacket because you are going to go over side to test the ladder whether it is correctly tied or not and all these practicals these practicals are allotted eight marks each and total there are 40 marks for this making fast rope stage rigging scaffolding bosun chair and pilot ladder so these are five activities and 40 marks further rope work like knots bends hitches whipping seizing splicing ropes and wires reaving threefold purchase all these activities you you will get 18 marks so six marks each okay six marks each for the activities not for whipping seizing splicing each but threefold purchase twofold purchase six marks and rope work 12 marks so like that it is total 18 marks and total marks for the seamanship and GSK practicals are allotted 100 out of that you have to get 60 marks for passing. Let us see what all topics will be covered in orals but mostly whatever practicals you will perform during practical examiner will be asking you a question then and there when you are performing and those are only mostly orals other than that you will be having separate orals also and topics like the uh, topics are like this so tank soundings draft load lines tank ballast cargo lashings derrick and cranes working at height mast ship side ladders scaffolding gangways rope work, mooring, anchor work, blocks and tackles, shackles and snapback zone, steering, flags, compass, nav equipment and lookout, enclosed space entry and precautions and work permit, safety related questions, personal protective equipment, safe working load, marpole, soap, risk assessment, chipping painting, so such things are the topics for the orals which are allotted total 50 marks. So orals will be conducted and you will get 50 marks. Mostly orals are conducted in English but if at all you are not able to express yourself 100% in English you may express in maybe little bit with your Hindi or whichever language best known to you but English 
you must speak at least maximum of your conversation let us see what all practicals you will have to perform for mek so first practical hand and plumbing tools three jobs will be given to you each will be allotted 10 mark for three jobs use of chipping tools and painting and paint brushes so chipping painting basically is allotted also 10 marks use of carpentry tools also allotted 10 marks use of measuring instrument are also allotted 10 marks lathe work and electrical so each one of these you will have to give, you will have to perform at least one task except this hand and plumbing three the jobs will be given to you so total these are allotted 80 marks and see here welding one job on welding you will have to perform and which is given 20 marks so welding is having lot of double the weightage of all other practicals so you must concentrate on welding because at one go 20 marks can go if you are not done the welding properly so total marks allotted for mek practicals are 100 for uh, orals there are five topics painting maintenance basically chipping and painting tools used for electrical repair safety basic motor and power generation lathe machine pedestal grinder drill machine their parts and the names of various parts and safety to be observed hand tools carpentry tools plumbing tools maintenance and repair welding type of welding equipment used in welding safety to be observed while welding personal protective equipment all these five activities are allotted 50 marks so mostly when you are performing the practical that time only the examiner will keep on asking you questions and separately also he will ask you questions as a interview sitting in front of him and you will be answering so here also 50 marks are there for this mek orals once you have done with your online test orals practicals and you pass the exam the board of examinations for seafarers trust best will be giving you certificate this certificate will be sent to the institute and you will have to come to institute and collect this certificate normally it takes about result takes about one month to declare by dg shipping and this certificate another one month it takes to get the certificate to the institute and then institute will distribute this certificate to you here this certificate all the details are given here and you have passed this exam that is also said here plus they are giving here the ranking of first 25% students who have appeared all over india so about 5000 students are appearing for gp every 6 months and here first 25% students who are ranking their rank is given here you can see the rank of the student is 254 so out of 5000 odd students who have appeared during that batch this student has scored ranking 254 on the back side of this certificate passing certificate the marks are given the detailed marks are given which you have obtained see here 75 marks he has got 66 marks 75 marks for mek that is your online 64 marks this boy has scored and out of 175 he has scored 139 and here are given passing marks so pa marks are printed on the back side of the certificate which is given to you so boys all the best for the exam prepare well and appear for the exam i hope that this information is useful to you please like share and subscribe captain joke is signing off here